What's up, everybody? This is Zach, joined along with my two core ho- oh, oh, oh. Core whores. My core whores. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is Zach, joined along with my two co-hosts, Derek and Robbie. This week on our top five, we're going to be doing the top five villains, and this can be from anything, books, movies, video games, everyday life. I know I'll always Robbie say Robbie Rawls, number one. I know I'll always say, number five. <laughs> Robbie, one through five. The end. <laughs> <laughs> but these are, like, anytime we do a top five, it's always so hard to pick, but, uh, Coming in at five is a book series that I enjoyed reading so much as a child. Well, not a child, but as a teenager. Why do you get to go first? Because you just... I could, I why don't I get to go first? Because I'm going first. And I picked Galatorix from the Aragon books. Because, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you know, people just made him understand mm-hmm. and then he, you know, yep. it worked. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, Derek, yep. what's your number five? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll hijack this episode. Yep. <laughs> You just zacked this video. <laughs> <laughs> My number five comes from the world of professional wrestling. And to me, the greatest wrestling villain of all time. Chop of Doom. The owner of WWE, that is a good one. Vince, Vince McMahon. McMahon. There oh, was yeah. no bigger villain during the late 90s, early 2000s than Vince McMahon. Or speaking better known of, as a douchebag. <laughs> speaking <laughs> of Chops of Doom, I would not mind giving him a nice Chop of Doom. The best thing was Stone Cold just oh, yeah. always owning him. Yep. That that was best. Or mankind he, he helped him. He helped make Stone Cold the best oh, yeah. wrestler of all time, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. By far. So that's my number five. My number five comes from a new comic that has been coming out lately from Southern Bastards, Coach Boss. <sighs> just the first seven issues of... No, no, it's the first four issues of Southern Bastards. You just hate the yeah. living Mess. pee out of him. Now, this is a series that I've actually been wanting to read. It's really good. Yeah, like I've heard nothing but good things about Southern Bastards. Yeah, I just cussed. Bastards not actually a cuss word. No, it's an illegitimate. Yeah, illegitimate child. child. So there you go. You can just been educated. All right, my number four. <laughs> <laughs> Continuity. My number four. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. I'm taking it back. My number four comes from Batman the Animated Series, oh. The Phantasm. Ooh. Your, Your angel, angel of, of death, death awaits. awaits. Just right. the bet. Like, just so amazing. And the whole, the whole outfit, the voice. Still the best DC animated movie oh, yeah. of all time, in uh, my oh, opinion. Yeah. Hands down. All right. Your number four. My number four. <laughs> no, Derek, how about yours? <laughs> <laughs> At this point in time, he's only half of a man, but I chose Darth Maul as my number four. Get it? Because he got cut yeah. in half. Yeah. Yeah. But like seeing him with that, you know, double bladed lightsaber was awesome. I don't know why I have an alarm set for six thirty, but uh, Darth Maul was just so cool when you watched it. So that's why he's my number four, Derek. My number four comes from the world of Dragon Ball Z, and he hates dragon, power levels dragon. that are over 9,000. Oh, that's a good one. That would be Vegeta. He was a My favorite dick. Dragon Ball Z character of all time. Just oh, yeah. his pure, over-the-top arrogance. I'm the prince of all <laughs> sins. Mouth Piccolo. But no, I love Vegeta. Vegeta's he, amazing. He's a great character. Like, always, you know, he's so angry all Kakarot. the time. Kakarot! My number three, just one episode alone, makes him one of my favorite villains of all time. Heart of Ice, Mr. Freeze. That's Thank a good you. one. He's Thank as you, cold Paul Dini. as ice. No. Just the cool way party. that, I can't remember the guy's name right now, but just how he had no emotion mm-hmm. in that whole episode. If I had tears, you know, like I can't remember the line, but it was just like, Freaking amazing. Yeah. I'll cut it in right here. Arnold Schwarzenegger made a great Mr. Freeze. All right, Derek. What's your number three? <laughs> Robbie's uh, losing his. What's yeah. your number three? <laughs> Go ahead, Robbie. Continuity. <laughs> um, my number three is Darth Vader. Because he's such a great character in the Star Wars universe. And, you know, 
Who can not forget that line? Luke. I am your father. Why was he whispering? I don't know because I didn't want to be too loud. And then he and came. Luke's like, what? and then he I came can't to with all this wind and, here. And then what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you just, just cut, cut off, off my, my hand, hand. <laughs> and now you're going to whisper? Did the Yin Yang Twins get to you? They were whispering. But Darth Vader was such a great character in the Star Wars oh, yeah. universe. So oh, yeah, I mean, definitely. I couldn't not put him in my list. Yeah. All right, Derek. My number three is also Darth Vader. Nice. For the same reasons you said, getting to see his character develop over six movies and... Even if it was bad the first three. Even if the first three weren't that great, still seeing his backstory... Best child actor there was. No. (laughs) And then that just... (laughs) Voice by James Earl Jones just made it so great. Mufasa. So Darth Vader is my number three. I had to put Scar in there, but anyway. My number two, the clown prince of crime himself, the Joker. There's no greater Batman villain than the Joker. That is true. Um, yep. I've said it many times, Mark Hamill is the Joker but, uh, to me. Definitely. Like There was actually a, a picture, I'm sure you've seen it, where it has like all the Jokers. It's like the psychopath, the gangster, Yeah. and then it was like, the Joker, and it was Mark Hamill's version. Like I was like, I mean, that they nailed it right there. Because oh, yeah. when you think, when you, when I read anything that has Joker in it, there's only one voice that I use for the Joker. Yeah, and it's Mark Hamill's. No, it's Jared Leto's. I'm the penguin. Gonna hurt you really, bad. <laughs> really, really, really bad. All right, Robbie, what's your number two? Uh, my number two is also that clown loving fun man that is the Joker. He's just a great character. Like I, I, like I grew up. You know, I didn't read the um, the comics like you did, but um, I did watch the animated series, and I watched you know Tim Burton's Batman, the sixty six. The Joker was just always that classic. Like when you thought of villains, you thought of the Joker. Yeah, and like he just always stuck with me. I know I always give Batman a hard hard time because of you, but Batman is 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 a great superhero, and he has a great villain. It's just like Spider Man. But the Joker comes in at number two for me. Segwaying from Spider-Man, my number two is the Green Goblin. He, to me, is Spider-Man's Joker. He's yeah. his greatest nemesis. I thought that was the Vulture. No. Because <laughs> in the comics... <laughs> shocker. <laughs> because in the comics, he's the only one... He's the only villain who knows that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Yeah. And he's the father of Peter's best friend. So Harry. With that whole personal relationship, to me, just makes him a great villain. Yeah. And you kind of see the same type of characteristics in like how he's a little bit unstable. Yeah. So Like the Joker. Yeah. yeah. I like him. I like Green Goblin. Yeah. It's a good choice. My number one. <laughs> Clad in dark armor. <laughs> the best villain to ever villain. <laughs> Darth Vader. Just amazing. Anytime you see the outline of the helmet, you know that it's going to be B.A. Oh, yeah. And, you know, when you're so B.A. enough to have your own theme song when you walk into a room, yeah. I mean. I already have that, but, you know, nobody else hears it but me. It's called Glamazon. <laughs> hey. Female phenomenon. Hey, I'm a Glamazon. But, yeah, Darth <laughs> Vader is just amazing. Um, he... Just great. Yeah. Like, you can't really go, but my favorite line. Apology accepted, accepted Captain Nita. Just amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, that voice is just so iconic. Like, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I remember um, watching The Lion King, and as soon as Mufasa started talking, I was like, Everything the light touches. touches. <laughs> and you're like, Oh, my God, Darth Vader is going <laughs> to kill this little kid. <laughs> He's a youngling. Don't do it. You're number one. My number one, and I know we're, we, uh, with our top ones, we get more sentimental to the ones that we've enjoyed the most. And y'all are going to... Nokey pokey stick. <laughs> yes, mine is, <laughs> mine is the trickster. Mine is the trickster, Loki. Um, because, like, I've, I, you know, I've, I've read some comics. I've watched a lot of the animated stuff with Thor. Um, and Loki's just always been that, that coolish villain for me because... 
he, he messes with your mind. Like, he puts stuff there that isn't there. And it's just, and seeing him in the Avengers whenever, and in Thor, being able to see your favorite character. That's what I've loved about Marvel in general, is seeing your favorite characters and your favorite villains come into life. And being able to see Loki on the big screen was pretty big success. Well, like, when I see Batman in a Marvel movie, then I'll see my favorite character. Well, we'll just say <laughs> we'll just say comic books, comic book movies in general. Being able to see your favorite characters has just been amazing to see them in an actual movie. Daredevil is a good example there. Oh yeah. yeah, Derek, number one. Closing out my number one is Ganondorf. Aunt May from the Legend of Zelda series, and I say that because. One. I mean, one, it's my favorite video game series of all time, but... And, you get, and you get to play a game of baseball with him when he's throwing his little energy things and you got to do the spins. Yeah, you do. To play baseball. But in Ocarina of Time, you don't really learn that much about the character of no. Ganondorf. You just think he's this power-hungry, you know... Dick. Yeah. <laughs> this power-hungry thief who happens yep. to know magic. But as the games progress, like the... <laughs> The sequels to Ocarina of Time, like Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, you actually learn more about the psyche of Ganondorf. See, I never played uh, Twilight Princess or any of the games. It deals after. a lot with Ganondorf's backstory and kind of, you know, the pressure that he's under because he's the only male of this entire civilization. Of, okay. the, of desert thieves <laughs> called the Gerudo. That doesn't um, sound like a punishment. I, uh, I know. A male Gerudo is. Uh, only born like every hundred years. Ah, okay. So <laughs> between that and, you know, just seeing the thirst for power just drive him completely crazy is actually pretty interesting. Gives you a whole new meaning to if I was the last man on earth, would you do? <laughs> yeah. So th that's, <laughs> that's one of the many reasons why Ganondorf's my favorite villain. And, I mean, he was, at that time in my life, he was a very iconic villain for me too in the video game world because of all the times that I played and I just remember every time I'd hit him with his own little blast he would that cape would get more and more like mm -hmm. damaged and everything so what's funny is three of our people have something green about them Green Goblin Ganondorf and then the Joker has his green hair mm -hmm. well, pretty interesting yeah. green's evil Loki also green with has, has green I, we have three not we're not counting Loki I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let us know what your top five. Please comment. We want to know. You've heard Engage. ours. Yes. Engage yeah. with us, my friends. Engage. Nerd Cavians. Make it so. Make it so. You know, it would be great. You know, tell us in the comments below what you think are your top five villains. We want to know. Oh well, if you want to check us out, we are on Facebook, Twitch, Tumblr, Instagram, uh, Facebook. Facebook, the, the big one. Yeah. yeah, be sure to like that. We're trying to, you know, we want to build a community w with you guys so we can just all talk and chill and chillax. Uh, we got a pretty cool thing about a, a website, Derek. Well, what is it? You can find all of our content, including these YouTube videos, news articles, links to our podcast, all at nerdcavenetwork.com. Yep. And be sure to check out our podcast. We're on iTunes, Stitcher, and soon-to-be SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. And we've got some great content on there, too. And we make a lot of jokes. So yep. We do. It's really fun. You should check it out. You can find all of that on the nerdcamnetwork.com. Just like Derek said, please like, share, subscribe while you're here so you don't miss any of our great content. we got been, some great stuff. This has so. been Zach. <laughs> Derek. And Robbie. Have a week. <laughs>